All right, maiden test of my new multi-week quad with the hover things frame. I have a GPS all set up. It's very accurate right now, it's showing the quad right on top of me. I'm gonna set that position as home. Also set that position as position hold, which was that lower button. So if I do decide to try them out, see if I can control the quad with Bluetooth. All right. This is normal operation. I'm going to do return to home. Where are you going? That's not home. Turn it off and coming back. to turn on the auto level and heading hold, which did not work whatsoever. Dang, these motors are strong. Heading hold's doing great. So now GPS position holds on. Having to do too much manual uh, change, turned it off. Let's bring it back a little bit and I'm gonna go back to the map on the phone and see where it says it is. That's about right. This quad is much more touchy than my other quad. Wow, heading hold does a lot. I'm not doing any of those twists. I have ACC on to keep it level. And I had mag magnometer heading hold on. And after I got through trying to you know, loop around nose in, it flipped around back to the original heading I gave it when I flipped the switch on. 
So I need to make an individual ACC switch without heading hold. A second ACC plus heading hold switch. A separate position hold switch. Maybe a separate altitude hold switch. And maybe a separate return to home switch. Unless I can figure out fail safe. And then I'll just have it where I turn off the transmitter. Super, super smooth. Oh my god, it jumps faster than any quad I've ever owned. This is the Hover Things FPV frame and I have no FPV equipment loaded on it. I bet I could put all my FPV equipment on there and it would still be pretty damn responsive and I wouldn't get very short flight times. Excited. Multi-Wee board is brilliant. These new sensors must... Oh, and I bet you it's also the processor on this board as well. I think it was a successful maiden test. <laughs>